Hi guys. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Good, good. Hello, everybody. Hi, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys doing? Pretty good? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yeah, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, all right. Good to see you guys again. Um, how was your your day today? Okay, not so good. Tiring, bad, what? Very hard. It was a hard day, <laughs> really? Yes. Why is that? Uh, and the month is almost ending tomorrow, the last day. And we have to make a lot of report, uh, make a lot of calls, meetings, uh, many things. So, so good the, evening. Good evening, Marvin. Good to see you. So you, you do reports on every Friday, Luis? Yes, normally every Friday, but the last week of the month is, is more information than normally. Oh, okay. I see. Because, yeah, tomorrow is 30th. Of, it's the last yes. day of the month. Yes, oh, but, but I see. we are uh, uh, working in the next month, in the next three months. Sorry? In my, in, in my area, we work, or we are working right now in about the information for the next month and three or six uh, months. And Adelante, how do you say hacia adelante? In advance. In advance, thank you. Sorry. I don't know if it's correct to say in that yeah, okay. way. Tell, tell me, yeah, the, tell, can you repeat the context? Because I want to make sure also that it's in the yeah. correct context. Okay, I work in planning area. Yeah. We And right now we are working for, in information for about the next month or three or six months. It depends. Uh, um, depends what area needs the information. Oh, okay, yeah, in advance, yeah, in that case, yes, yes. In uh, yes, that would be okay. Mm -hmm. In that context, yes. Okay, good, good, good. And um, so, are you? So you have to make sure you have all the information for the next how many months? And six for the supplier six six months wow for the uh, for the international supplier for the local the supplier three months and for the managers are one month and financial three are six months it depends wow okay yeah so lots of things yes yeah wow okay well you know that's that's life, you gotta live with it, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, but you know, at least um, you'll get that over with and you won't have to worry about that for the next, for a few more months, right? So just get it over with. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, all right, guys. Well, um, I'm glad to see the majority of you guys are here. Um, me a second okay so i'm going to right now take um take the uh, attendance um so that we can we can um make sure everybody is here Just give me a moment okay all right okay Sorry guys, can you guys hear me? <laughs> because the the neighbor's dogs are are um, you know they 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 want to comment as well. So <laughs> I don't know if they, if um, you can, can you guys can you hear me? Yeah, it's okay. Yes, we can hear you. 
Okay, good. Sorry about that. Okay, so, um, all right, so we'll start. Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Andres? Andres Giovanni? And the Giovanni not here. Okay. Edgar. <clears throat> Edgar, no. Oh, Edgar. Yeah, Eric. Edgar, are you there? I can see his. Uh, maybe he's trouble having trouble. Okay. Um Janet. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh Fabiola. Present teacher. Excellent. Francisco? Javier? Francisco Javier? No. Okay. No. Haiti? Present teacher. Great. Irene? Irene? No. Okay. All right. Um, Josue Alberto? Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Carla. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Melissa. Present teacher. Okay. Teacher. Present. All right. Uh, Luis. Present teacher. Okay. Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. All right. Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus. No. Okay. Um, Marvin. Present teacher. Um, Wendy. Present teacher. Wonderful. Um, Werner? Oh, Werner's connect. Hi, Werner. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, great. Good, good to see you. Um, Noemi? Noemi? Okay, uh, Yvonne? Yvonne? Yvonne, no. Oh, uh, yes, y Yvonne? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. No. Take, may, um, check, check your earphones, maybe. The earphones are the problem. Yeah, okay, but I, I can see you. That's the important thing. Okay, uh, Daniel? Present teacher. Great. Jorge? Jorge? No. Marlene? No. Ricardo. Ricardo? No, okay. All right, so just, just to make sure I have everybody, I didn't hear Andres Giovanni. I didn't hear Francisco Javier. Irene. Hello, Jesus. Edgar? Yeah, present teacher. Ah, oh, wonderful. There, there is Edgar. Okay, good. Um, uh, Noemi? Jorge? Marlene? And Ricardo? Those are the people I didn't hear. Okay. All right. Okay. So in that case, guys, let's continue. Okay. So guys, welcome to today's class. I'm um, good to see you guys once again. Um, 
How are you guys doing in the platform? How how is uh, how's it? Um, are you having any problems? Um, is there anything you want to help you you want to ask me before we? Peter, I I can hear you clearly because there's another microphone on. Okay. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. Okay. Yeah, um, can you guys hear me okay? Very well. Yeah? Yes, we can hear you better now. All right, so, um, all right, so like I was asking you, are, do you guys have any questions about the platform? Any problems that you've been having that something you wanna, you want me to help you with in the platform? No, I don't have any issue. I don't know the others. No, um, I don't have any questions. Too. Okay, good. Good. Okay. All right, guys. So remember that uh, we should have already finished the midterm, right? Uh, we should be, we should have also finished. Um, homework number 12 and then today would be homework 13 okay mm -hmm. so um just make sure that you're 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 there okay all right so let's um let's start with our powerpoint oh by the way guys um i don't know if you've had the opportunity of taking a look but I have sent you um, in the WhatsApp group, I have sent you two things. Have you been able to take a look at it? If you haven't, you have right now, if you can take a look at it, um, I've sent you a list of the, um, of the verbs in the past part of, well, in, well, in the simple, is in the simple past and the past participle. So remember I told you yesterday where there are three, there's a list of three columns, right? So I've been able to send you um, the, the list so that you can take a look at the three columns. Um, so you have there, those are the irregular verbs, okay? Because remember what I told you that with regular verbs, it doesn't change, um, it's the same as a simple past. Okay, so um, if you are, are looking at um, regular verbs, then it's gonna be exactly the same as simple past. So you just have to add ED or just D or IED, that's it, okay? But with irregular verbs, then you have to really, um, you have to find out and, and investigate. And in this case, you have the list there. All you gotta do is consult the list, okay? And of course, memorize right um because there's no there's no magic rule to be able to learn all of the, the past participles okay the only thing we could do is memorize just like you did with the simple past right so what's the simple past of make made made, made. Right? made. exactly and you learned it right and you learned it by heart you you just memorized it that it's that it's made make make is made and so the same thing you got to do with the with the, the past participle right so past participle of make is made made as well make. right okay so that one's um that one is it works the same way that it's going to be the same as the simple past but not all of them for example uh, what is the, the what, what is the past participle of take? Taken. Yeah. Okay. So if you consult the list, you will see it's taken. 
which is different from the simple past because simple past was a simple past of take. Took. Took. So it's going to be take, took, taken. Right? So it's going to be different. So you're going to have to kind of, you know, consult the list and start memorizing it as much as you can. Okay? All right, guys. So just take that into consideration. And the other thing I, I sent uh, was for you to consult um, collective nouns. We, we talked a little bit of collective nouns yesterday. I don't know if you guys remember. Um, collective nouns are the ones where even though you have many people, but it's composed of like, oh, better said, it's, it's a group that is composed of many people, but we treat it as one unit, okay? Where it's like class, okay? You say, for example, the class is big. You say, you don't say the class are big. You say the class is big, even though the class is composed of many people, right? Okay, the same thing with words like family, words like um, audience. Team. Uh, hmm? team. Team, yes, team, very good, yeah. A band, right? You know, those words like that where even though it's composed of many people, but you treat them as one unit. And so I've, I've sent you there the list of the all of the collective nouns well not all of them right but a, it's a it's a nice long list okay so you can you can take a look at it whenever you want and you know if you have any questions you can ask me okay okay so let's um start please let me know if you can see that yes we can great okay so beginner Module five, it's unit three, troubleshooting, okay? And, oh, sorry, no, wait a second. Oh, sorry, guys. I don't know why I put Tuesday. I'm thinking it's Tuesday and it's really Thursday. Thursday. Sorry, guys, my mistake. Okay. So Thursday, April 29th, 2021, and stay number 13, your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero, okay? So almost the end of the month, right? Almost. Okay, so um, we're going to start with the role play, okay? So our role play is going to consist of the following. We're going to be working with a partner. Imagine there are issues with some equipment in your workplace. Okay, so any, when I say issues, remember we, what are issues? Oh. Oh. Things to resolve. Yeah, mm -hmm. so problems, mm -hmm. good. Okay, so imagine there are issues or problems uh, with equipment at your workplace. Oops. Create a conversation expressing what the problem is and what you have done about it. So you don't have to just say what the problem is, but also what has been done. Notice we're going to be using have done. So that's that's the past, the, sorry, the present participle. No, sorry, sorry, let me say the present perfect. Okay, the present perfect. So use the present perfect, okay? And like I said, uh, you can consult the list that I have sent you. So you can see what is the, pre the past participle of different verbs that are irregular. And then you're gonna present the conversation in front of the class. Sounds good, guys? Okay, so basically, you don't, you, just, you don't have to just explain what the problem is. You got to explain what you did about it, like what has been done. And you can also say what hasn't been done too, right? So what has been done to solve the problem and what hasn't been done to solve the problem? That, that's also possible, right? So you can use the negative as well. All right? Sounds good, guys? Yeah. yeah. 
-hmm. Okay, let's begin dividing our class then. Um, oh, Warner, you're just in one device, right? Right now. Warner, will you be able to participate while you're driving? Mm, probably. Warner? Yes, you can. Will you be able to participate while you're driving? Uh, I, yes, you can. I drive in. Okay. Um, Okay, no worries. I'll just, what I'll do is I'll put you in a group with, with three people. Okay. Yes, teacher, please. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so, I'm going to give you, I would say, I'm going, to, I'm going to give you 15 minutes because I want you guys to do a very good job. Um, I want you to practice using affirmative and negative, okay? Um, so I want, I'm, I'm going to give you guys about 15 minutes to do it. And I also want you guys uh, to practice it like practice the conversation so you don't have to be reading it so much okay you can read a little bit but um the ideal thing is for you not to read so much but just try to use the vocabulary okay sounds good okay okay all right so let's open those rooms um hold on just give me a second Okay, go ahead. Join your group. Teacher, I don't have a group. Oh, you haven't been assigned. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna sign you right my, now. My 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 cell phone and my computer. <laughs> so. Okay. Okay. No worries. Right now, I just assigned your room. A, a real issue that is a big issue. Okay. One machines um, can um, turn on because there is not a driver. And these okay. kind of machines are, are too, too old and there is no replace pieces. Is that the repuesto? No me acuerdo como se dice. Teacher, can you help me? Sure. What can I help you with? Please. Uh, How do como... you say pieza de repuesto? Um, spare parts. Okay. Okay. Spare parts. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then we we have one no two weeks looking for a piece in USA in Sweden and Mexico, in almost all the world. <laughs> um, but finally, we we found one in Mexico, and that is flying to, to El Salvador. Hi, Hi teacher. Hello. Uh, teacher, uh, 
de la actividad íbamos a hacer el, la actividad 6, el Yul Turn. ¿O qué íbamos a hacer en la actividad ahorita? Work with a partner. Imagine there are issues with some equipment in your workplace. So that means that you have problems with an equipment. Create a conversation expressing what the problem is and what you have done about it. Okay, so what, what has been done? ¿Qué se ha hecho? ¿Qué se ha hecho con el problema? Or you can also say what hasn't been done. Right, so you can also say what things the person has, what, what things have not been done for the, the problem. You have to make sure to use the present perfect. You can use affirmative and negative, and then present the conversation in front of the class. Okay. 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 Got it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions? Any other questions? No. Uh -huh. sure? No. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Go ahead then and start talk talking about it. Okay. Molina. Eh, entonces sería de que, bueno, planteamos lo primero en español y después lo traducimos todo. Okay. Not a good idea. Oh. That, that's not a good idea, Manuel. And I'll tell you why. Podría parecerlo más fácil, pero al final va a ser lo más difícil. Porque lo que usted está entrenando su mente a hacer es simplemente traducir. Entonces, al final no va realmente a comprender el idioma tal como es sino que lo único que va a aprender es a traducir, a estar pensando primero en español para después traducirlo en inglés. Okay. Entonces, my suggestion is, Manuel, try to think always in English so that it's easier for you to get the ideas and to make the transition. Okay? All right, so... I know it's okay. difficult. It's going to be a challenge, but you can do it. Okay? And if you if you try it, you're going to you're going to do very well. So just just try it. Okay? Sounds good? Okay. Okay. All right. So go for it. Okay, Manel. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Esto entonces. Check. To check. En esto. Sí. Mm -hmm. I'm going to check. check. I'm going to check the parameters. Bueno, esa sería la parte que usted me contestaría, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Parameters. Parameters. Ok. Lo siguiente tendría que ser uh, una frase Try mía. In English, Marvin. Try to speak only in English and it will be easier for you. Ok, teacher. Ok. And the next sentence be right um uh, i have the i have the 
the what is it? Producer, teacher, producer. Okay. Producer. Producer. The procedimiento. Oh, procedure. Procedure. Okay. Procedure. Uh, in this case, I hope the procedure is the function or functionally. Function. Function. What are you trying to say, Marvin? Uh, eh, espero que, este que el procedimiento funcione. Oh, I hope the procedure works. Okay. Okay. Hello, Fabiola. Thanks for coming. I have a problem with Sabre Cinco Mil. Uh, what is the problem? The equipment lost the calibre. Okay, I the team, no, the equipment, the equipment lost the calibre. Mm -hmm. Rem remember that you have to use present perfect. So use the have and have plus past participle or haven't plus past participle. Okay? Okay, teacher. Lo que se ha hecho y lo que no se ha hecho. Okay? Uh -huh, okay. One, the team. Erase, erase my operating system. Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. Hello, what are you guys doing? Um, about to finish. You're about to start finish? Practicing. Good. Yeah. Start yeah. practice. Practicing. Excellent. Right? Acuérdense, okay. acuérdense mm -hmm. que, um, de que tienen que, um, you have to be saying what has been done and what hasn't been done. So, que se ha hecho en lo que no se ha hecho. Okay? So, don't forget to do that. Okay? All right, go okay. ahead. Continue. Pretend I'm not here. Okay. I really appreciate your help. I hope the technician won't desert the machine. Don't reset the machine. But... Uh huh. Check the machine. Como para no perder la información, que debe decir. Comprobado. Aquí, aquí, mire, creo que hagamos más largo este para que tengamos como ah, okay. de conversación. Eh, I have eh, checked check it. the problem. And eh, I find, he encontrado, and I find, I find, eh, what is the problem? I find, 
default. Sí, que, que le, quizás le vamos a poner aquí que hemos encontrado que tiene una pieza quebrada. Ok. Hay una pieza quebrada. Try, try to always speak in English. Try, don't try to translate so much because then it's going to be very, very difficult for you to start thinking just in English. Mm -hmm. Atascar is, is task or jam. You can say jam or get stuck. 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 It's task. No, I'll it's, write it in the chat. Okay. Okay, so it could say be jammed or get stuck. Okay. 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 Sería, eh, okay. I have a problem. I have a checker. The problem. I have a checker. The problem. The problem. Problem. And 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 fine. Yeah. Receive it next, next week. Next. And week. how are you guys doing? Are we ready? Um, almost just with the almost. closing of the conversation of the conversation. Okay, good. Any questions? I think no. No. Okay, just remember, you got to use the present perfects, right? So using have in the past participle or haven't in the past participle. Okay. 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 Perfect. I, I can finish the conversation uh, saying to you. That's right. Um, <laughs> no, maybe, maybe it, 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 could, it could be, I will check to the, no, forget, it. no. No, no puede ser. Um, ah, puede ser. Ok, I hope this. Ok, ahora ahí estuvo. Uh, no sé si quieres preguntar. Excelente. ¿Y cuánto será el, el costo de la reparación, por decirte algo? Ah, sí. Eh. Try, guys, remember, okay. try to keep it in English. Uh, try to always uh, speak in English. Sorry, sorry, teacher. Uh, okay. okay. No, it's just, I'm just telling you because it's gonna, it's going to be more difficult for you to um, start like thinking English, Spanish, English, Spanish, you know. So just keep it in one language. Okay. Okay. The, if you keep it in one language, you will learn it faster. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, ah, pero ahora, okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. uh, of course, I must be the like. Um, uh, Okay, okay. Repeat the conversation. Excellent. The conversation. Excellent. How much? Uh, excellent. How much I am going to put uh, the repairs to be? Okay. Remember to use have and past participle or haven't and past participle. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 
Don't forget that. Okay. Excellent. How much is the refire going to put me to bill? Okay, like. No sé por qué de repente no me agarra, fíjate. Cuando estoy aquí en esto, a veces no me agarra. What are you trying to look for? Cumplir. Cumplir, comply. Um, comply. Comply the goal. Oh, no, in that case, it would be reach the goal. Reach. Reach, como llegar. Uh -huh. llegar uh, a, a la meta. Reach the goal. Okay. Reach the goal. Uh -huh. And we can use that uh, that sentence. Teacher? Teacher? <laughs> no me escucho, Lisa. Creo que ya se fue. Oh, sorry. I, 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 por alguna razón yo le escuchaba que decía Richard. ¿Quién es Richard? Yo quizá es un Richard, es Richard? Casa, en su casa. ¿Quién es Richard? <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, Carla. Huh? Uh, we can use that sentence. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. We really, but I can say, I we need to reach the goal. We need, uh, we need to yeah. reach the just, goal. Just remember, girls, that you the uh, the the goal is to be able to use the past the 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 present perfect, right? So use have and past participle, or haven't and past participle. Okay. So, so yeah, uh, we have to reach. No. Uh, no. But, no, well, no, no, no. Yes, it's okay. You can use. You can use. Uh, we have to blah blah. But that is not the present perfect, because the present perfect is have plus past participle. And so, yeah. Does that make sense? Oh. Uh -huh. Well, voy, a, voy a buscar aquí en el cuadrito que nos mandó Tich. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions? No, teacher. No? No. Okay. You, you are... Ya, ya siento que, que por ahí va a llegar una abejita. <laughs> yeah, okay. is that that uh, are are the flower of my garden? Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, wow, they so nice. they are natural. Oh. I take I take the picture uh today. Oh. In the afternoon. Oh, so nice! Wow, yes. that's wonderful. I like. Mm -hmm. It looks very nice. Thank you. Very, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Pero sí, siento que cualquier momento ya va a llegar la... <laughs> sí, to he, he tomado la, la evolución desde que estaban en botoncito a cómo han ido cambiando día con día. That's nice. Mm. It's very nice. I like to take pictures. And uh, uh, how to say, uh, um, editar, edit pictures. Edit. Yeah, I like to take and edit pictures. Mm, okay, mm. nice, very, very nice. Okay, all right, well, so, so go ahead, girls, continue. Um, I'm going to probably give you about two more minutes and then I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay, okay. thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Oh, okay. Uh, can we practice the conversation? Yes. 
Okay. Okay. You are number one. Hello. I have a problem with this machine. Okay. Do you have reported the problem in the maintenance system? Yes, I have made all. Uh, repeat? No. Repeat. Oh, no. Uh, sorry, girls. Yes. Solo quería hacer una pregunta. Ricardo estuvo con ustedes. Daniel. Daniel, Ricardo no. Ah, pues nunca se unió. Es que asigné a, a Ricardo, pero nunca se unió. Ah, oh, no. No, no, no. Entonces solo ustedes han estado. Yes. Yes. Ok. Ok. Continue then. Thank you. Ok. Welcome. Eh, eh. Ok. Uh, again. Ok. Ya venido a tu teario. Y lo que decíamos, pasado participio. Uh -huh. Pasado pre presente perfecto. <laughs> I had been working. I had. Ah. Uh -huh. I, I had been. been working with uh -huh. this printer. With. This printer. And suddenly shoots down. And suddenly, is, suddenly, suddenly, uh -huh. suddenly shoots down. Shoots down or shuts down? Oh, shuts, shut, shut, pasado, verdad? Shuts no, down. No, no, the thing is that shoot is shoot, disparar. <laughs> Uy, no. Ah, pues, shut. ¿Cómo, ¿Y cómo se escribe el verbo de? Ah, de apagar. Yeah. Shut, is, shut is close. ¿Y por qué se dice shut down? Shut, shut down. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Shut down. The, the pronunciation is shut down. Shut down. Shut down. Shut. But if you spell it is S-H-U. Ah. Remember that in English the U Eh. So like 80% of the time it's going to be sound, it's going to sound like uh. So it's uh, 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 shut, shut down. down. Yeah. But it's correct that we use shutdowns for the printer to suddenly turn off. I don't know how to say it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Down. yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Just suddenly... be careful because like I said, shoot <sighs> is, is disparar, right? It's H O O T, ese disparar. Ah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Y shots es S H U T. Shots. Exactly. Es como production, que me ha costado eso. <laughs> I know, down. I know. Yeah, you just have to train your, your mm -hmm. brain that it's the, the U is pronounced uh, like uh. 80% of the time. Uh, right? So, ah, okay. Uh, yeah. Most of, uh. the time. Most of the time. Okay, yeah, thank yeah, you. Probably, thank you. probably like, yeah, like I said, 80% of the time. So. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, entonces, Daniel es el que va a decir shots. <laughs> shots. No. Y la última, y la última, I have sent, I have sent a memo to IT uh, department. I have sent a memo to IT department. Mm -hmm. Si quieren le damos un solo que una okay. rápida. Hello Juan, what's happening with this printer? Yeah, ma, I don't know. It's not uh, turning on. I had plug it into Log. the socket. Plug it into the socket. There is electricity in the office, but it's not turning on. Have you tried another socket? Yes, I have tried in three different sockets. I haven't used a different cable. Have you removed the dust? No, I haven't. You need to clean it once a fortnight. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Tim. I forgot to tell you. I have been working with this printer and suddenly 
shut down. I had sent a memo to uh, IT. I, I, IT, sorry. Um, uh, the moment. IT, IT department. The department. IT department. Correct. Okay. So you go after me after the fourth night. <laughs> that that <laughs> word. <laughs> I think. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. We have a problem with my middle you got, exam. You got to <laughs> help me. With your midterm? Yeah. But you guys are finished uh, with the conversation? Yeah, right? we finished the Oh, okay, okay, no session. problem. Okay, what's the problem with the No, it's, it's that because we, I write the, the, the sentence in complete sentences and the correct uh, answer was one letter. Oh, okay, okay. So now it's okay? Yeah, yeah, now it's okay. okay. All right, okay, good. Oh, okay, great. So, Teacher, yeah? Y, y, um, y con el ejercicio 11, ¿qué es lo que hay? I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. O sea, um, La forma que es lo que vamos a hacer en el ejercicio 11 porque no, no, no sé si hemos recibido la clase realmente no ya yeah, en el 11 sí is sí. that ya yeah. mm -hmm. small or it's important minor fault mm -hmm. extend the, the vocabulary ya yeah. oh ya recibimos la clase that. sí ya yeah. ok mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, small or important problem Stand the shirt is good. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a vocabulary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Maria okay. Okay. okay, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay, okay. thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. See you. Okay, all right guys. So I think we are all, we should all be ready. Um, you guys should all um, have, I've given you, I think a lot of time for you guys to practice and be sure. Remember that the idea is to use the present perfect. So you have, you should be using have or has plus past participle or haven't or hasn't and past participle. So that's kind of the idea here to be able to practice that, okay? So we'll go with um, uh, by by the rooms that we are we have been assigned. So in the first room, I have Liliana, Melissa, and Luis. Okay. Are you ready, Luis? Yes, ready. Okay. Hi. Okay. Hi, Luis. Can you tell me what happened with the printing machine? Hi, Melissa. Yes, we have an issue with the printing machine. This morning, did it turn on? Oh, no. Have you called the technician to check it? Yes, the technician has checked it, and the issue is with the driver. With the driver that is broken, we don't have a spare part. Okay, and where, where we can find or buy that, that driver? The technician has found one in Mexico. We will receive it next week. 
Well, that's okay. I hope this can fix the problem. Yes, that's I hope. <laughs> All right, very good, bravo. Excellent guys, very good. Okay, let's move on to group number two. I have here Andres and Katie. What's okay. wrong with the laptop, Heidi? Hello, Andres. Well, I don't know what's wrong. I have restarted it twice and it doesn't work. Have you called the technician? Yes, I have. They asked me to restart the laptop and it didn't work. So they are coming to try to fix the problem. Okay. Meanwhile, I can lend you my PC and you can continue working. Thank you, and Andres. I really appreciate your help. I hope the technicians won't restart, won't reset the machine, because I don't want to lose information. I hope that he can repair the machine without a reset. By the way, the technician is coming. Thanks, God. I hope they can fix it as soon as possible. Just that okay. teacher. Okay. All right, very good, bravo, excellent guys, very good. I have a question, did you guys um, use the, the present perfect? A little. Could you remind me where you used it? Because I don't remember very much. Uh, when I said I had, I had restarted when? the laptop twice, it says I have restarted twice and it doesn't work. Okay. And then Dress asked me, have you called the technician? Oh, yeah. ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, good. Very good. Excellent, guys. Okay, very good. Let's move on to group number three, Fabiola and Marvin. Okay, teacher. Fabiola, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay. Hello, Fabiola. Thanks for coming. I have a problem with the Sabre 5000. What is the problem? What is the problem? Hey, I can hear you. Yes. Hello. I have what problems, you teacher, with connection. You you can't hear us very well, Marvin. Uh, you are freeze. Oh, maybe the Zoom. Can you hear us? Hello. Hi, Marvin. Can you hear us? Hello, teacher. Me escuchan. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, hello, Fabiola. Problem? Thanks for coming. What is okay. the problem? Okay. <laughs> the kitman has lost the calibrant. Okay, I understand. I have to check it. The parameters. Parameters. Uh, do you think that producer work it? Generally, with this procedure, we repair, repair it. Excellent. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Okay. Let's move on to group number four, composed of Edgar and Irene. Irene uh, and Werner. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I just, I don't have Werner in the group, but, but okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hi, Edgar and Irene. I have a problem with the score. Hello, Werner. I have checked it everywhere and it won't to run. Uh, it is what you said in a combat and it went out. 
Sure, it must be aligned flat by electricity. I take the equipment to a workshop workshop for review. Excellent, Irene. After che checking it for 10 minutes, one of the line was cut. Ah, great. How much is the refiners going to be, uh, me to be? Is the pay machine is $50? Ah, excellent. Uh, thank you, Edgar and Irene, for your service. All right, very good, guys. Bravo. All right. Okay, good. Let's move now to group number five. The two Manuels, right? Manuel Alejandro and Manuel de Jesus. Eh, eh, teacher, eh, eh, Manuel left to the class. Yeah, the, I, I can't see him. Do you know what happened? I don't know. No, this, what, was he having problems okay. with the internet? No, no. No, no, no. O sea, cuando I don't know. No, no, no. Solo se conectó. Todo se desconectó. Okay, bueno. Okay, pero igual es... tiene... Okay, pero igual... Bueno, igual tenemos la conversación. Esperemos, esperemos. Vamos a, a continuar con el resto de los grupos y... Al final, vamos a ver si él ya se conectó. Okay. Okay, let's move on with group number six, Francisco and Josué Alberto. Okay. Hello, Josué. How can I help you? Hello, Francisco. I have, I had had some problem with my Personal computer. Okay, Anderson. Uh, what kind of problem do you have? My equipment is overheating regularly. Sometimes it is following by an outdated alarm, and other moments is an strange noise. Well, let me check it, and I'm going to try to solve the problem. Oh, I had found a problem. It is a situation with the phone. Just we have had that clean the piece. Then I reboot the equipment and now it's working normally. Really? It's great. Send, thank you a lot. Thanks to you. Finish. Very good, guys. Bravo. Okay. All right. Let's move now with uh, group number seven. Janet and Wendy. Okay. Hello. Uh, good morning, Janet. How are you? Good morning, Wendy. I'm fine. Maybe my printer no. Oh, really? What's wrong with the printer, Janet? My printer has a fault. Okay, well, in this moment, I has checked the print. Yes, you can start by checking why the paper jams. Okay, I have checked the problem and I find that it's broken part and I need to change. Oh no, what time delay the repair? Don't worry, Janet. I have the part in my call box. Okay, Wendy, thanks. Okay. All right, very good, excellent. Okay, very good. Um, Wendy, I have a question for you. When you use the present perfect uh, with I, how do you use it? Can you can you give me a sentence with I in the present perfect? Wendy? Hello. Hello. I have the car. 
Okay, good, good. I have, uh huh, good. I, yeah, I'm just asking because I wanted to make sure that you know that it's I have. Not I have. Very good. Ah, okay. Sorry, okay. maybe I I say very quickly. Uh, yeah, yeah, it could happen. Yeah, don't worry. But that's good. I'm I'm glad you know. Okay, good. All right, let's go now to group number eight, Carla and Yvonne. Okay. Okay. Hello, Yvonne. I have a problem with this machine. Um, okay. Do you have reported the problem in the maintenance system? Yes, I have uh, made the word order. Okay. I have a look at it. Mm. I need to check if the machine is clean first. Okay, I hope that you can fix it quickly. Okay. Mm. I have seen the problem. The oil level is not enough. It's so easy to fix it. Thanks for your help. We need to reach the goal. You're welcome, Carla. See you. And that's okay. all. Very good, girls. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. And let me let me tell you, Yvonne, I really enjoyed your intonation. I could I could feel that you were you were in that role, right? So I could hear you actually, you know, trying to help her out. So that's good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And uh, last group I have here, group number nine. Ana Claudia, Daniel, and Juan Francisco. Yes, teacher, we are. Hello, Juan. What's happening with this uh, printer? Hi, Ana. I don't know. It's not turning on. I had plugged it into the socket. There is electricity in the office, but it's not turning on. Have you tried another socket? Yes, I have tried in three different sockets. I haven't used a different cable. Have you removed the dust? No, I haven't. You need to clean it once a fortnight. I think I forgot to tell you, I have been working with this printer and suddenly shut down. I have sent a memo to IT department. Okay, thank you. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Excellent. For that reason, it didn't work. <laughs> oh my. No le hagamos mal fama. Okay, all right. Okay, guys, very good, very good. Okay, and I think still Manuel de Jesus is not here, right? Not yet. He must have had some internet problem. Okay, so no worries, Manuel. Just, well, we'll do it maybe another day, okay? All right, or maybe later okay. when, he, when he comes in. Tal vez más tarde si tú entra. Okay, very good, guys and girls. Um, I'm glad you, are, you were able to use the present perfect. That's excellent. Okay, so now let's um, go ahead and uh, move on with the next part of the next activity. Oh, wait, 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 before we move on to the next activity, I need to take attendance. Yeah, attendance. So let's see, um, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Great, Andres. Present teacher. Um, Edgar? Present teacher. Excellent. Um, uh, Janet? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Fabiola? Present teacher. Great. Francisco Javier? Present teacher. Excellent. Haiti? Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Irene? Present teacher. Excellent. Josué Alberto. Present teacher. Excellent. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Car Carla. 
Present teacher. Excellent. L Melissa? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Luis? Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Manuel uh, Alejandro? Present teacher. Excellent. Manuel de Jesus? No, he still has not connected. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Marvin? Present teacher. All right, great. Uh, Wendy? Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Werner? Warner? Warner? You probably want to do something. Okay. Uh, Noemi? Noemi? No? Not here? Okay. Uh, Yvonne? Present teacher. Great. Daniel? Present teacher. Okay. Jorge? Alberto? No. Uh, Marlene? Ricardo? Ricardo? No. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Good. So now let's move on, like I said, to the next activity. For the next activity, Please tell me if you can see this. Teacher, yeah. I, uh, I have a question with the platform. With the platform? Yes, and their homework number uh, 14 and the exercise number two. Uh, I prove all um, option and uh, I don't have well, well uh, all is wrong. Todas me salen malas, teacher. En el ejercicio número dos, ninguna opción es correcta, por decir así. Okay, so this is um, sí, es el, which one? La tarea 14. I spent no hemos llegado ahí, ¿verdad? Yes. No. Okay. Just give me a moment. I'm trying to open it up. Ninguna de sale correcta. No. Todas las opciones eh, salen como que ninguna, o sea, todas salen con la X roja. Uh, lo que pasa es que como todavía no hemos llegado a, ese, a esa clase, maybe we you still need to wait to get the vocabulary. Mm, yeah. But uh, because no, I, I can see the answers right now. I'm seeing the answers and they all do have an answer. Okay, so all you have to do is check. But is, just give me a moment. Um, it's true, Miss. Uh, there's one wrong. Uh, I try all, all of the. It's multiple choice, and all of the choices uh, says it's wrong. So this is the uh, the the. Um, is the homework 14. Homework. Yeah. Uh, so you have to choose one of these. Mm -hmm. Exercise number two, teacher. Yeah, number two. Yeah, I see. I think it's number three. Number two. Yeah, number two. Just give me a second. Give me one moment. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, you're right. Um, see, I un... there's a small problem with that one. Let me report it um, to the administration tomorrow, and hopefully they will be able to solve that for tomorrow so that everybody can do the exercise tomorrow. But yes, you're, yeah. you're right. And thank you for pointing that out. Um, okay. I noticed it. So I'll just I'll just tell them, I'll, I'll tell administration tomorrow that there's a problem with that one so they can, um, they can fix that, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, let's go on to our activity. So here we have the conversation. The conversation is, uh, well, that's first of all. So it says here, Yanni is sick. She calls her boss to explain what the problem is. Have you ever had that problem? Have you ever had a problem where you can't go to work because you're sick? Yes, teacher. Yeah, right. I think everybody yes, has, teacher. right? Okay. So we're going to be here in a conversation between Yanni and her boss. Okay. So you, this is Yanni and this is her boss. Her, his name is Mr. Ruiz. So let's read the conversation here. I need two volunteers to help me read the conversation. Who would like them to help me? Me, and me teacher okay i don't know who's me Could Janet. You... okay great wonderful janet uh so you you can be yanni and mr greece who said wants to be mr greece okay okay all right go ahead andres good morning this is mr greece hello mr greece this is yanni i have a situation Hi, Johnny. Tell me, what's, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I, I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I have to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, of Mr. Reed. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, very good. Um, all right, excellent, guys. Thank you. Very, very good. Very good job. Okay, so first of all, um what is Jenny's problem? She's sick. Mm -hmm. She's sick, right? Yeah. So um so why did she call Mr. Fries? She was not feeling well. Right, she's not feeling well. And so, what's the problem? Her stomach. He can, she, she can go to work. Exactly, she can't go to work, right? Yeah, so I don't know what day it is. Um, it probably sounds like it's a Thursday or a Friday because she says, I hope to see you on Monday. Right, so she's she's probably going to be um, uh, she's probably going to be taking a one or two days off, right? Okay, good. All right, let's take a look at this conversation and let's listen and repeat the conversation. Here we go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is Mr. Reese. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Yanni. This is Yanni. I have a situation. 
I have, I have a city. Hi, Yanni. Tell me. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Hey, tell, tell me. What's the matter? What's, What's the, the matter? matter? matter. I'm not feeling well today. I'm not, I'm not, not feeling well today. Well today. today. My stomach is killing me. My, my stomach, stomach is, is killing, killing me. me. And I'm as sick as a dog. I'm, and I'm, I'm sick, sick, as sick as a dog. As a dog. <laughs> I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Okay. Two days ago, two days, two days ago, 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 I was feeling under the weather too. I was feeling under the weather too. Oh really? Oh really? Oh, really? There's something going around. There's, There's something, something going, going around. around. I hope you are feeling better. I, I hope, hope you are you're feeling, better. 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 You're feeling better. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm in tip top shape. I'm, I'm in, in tip top shape. shape. Okay. Tip top shape. Tip top shape. Take it easy, Yanni. Take it easy, Yanni. I hope to see you on Monday. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Dries. Thanks a lot, Mr. Dries. Have a nice rest of the day. Have a nice rest of the day. Very good. Okay. So questions about the pronunciation. Stone much. Okay, very good question. Okay, very, very good question. I think I told I mentioned this, I think it was yesterday that sometimes when you have the ch in english it is not pronounced ch sometimes the ch is pronounced k so this is not stomach this is stomach 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 stomach, stomach. yes very good everybody repeat stomach Stomach. 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 Okay. Stomach. Else? Any other? We're talking about pronunciation right now. Just pronunciation. Wait up. Um, where? Oh, weather. oh okay, okay. Under the weather. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. Where is it? Weather. Okay. So this is pronounced. Weather. 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 Anything else? Any other words that you don't understand? The pronunciation. What the meaning? Yeah, we're going to look at meanings in a moment, but pronunciation so far? It's okay. Okay. All right, let's talk about meaning of the words. All right, tell me what words do you not understand? Feeling under uh, the weather. I'm as sick as a dog. Yeah. Tip top shape. Tip top shape. Anything else? Mm. 
There is something on, going around. Anything else? Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it. Take it easy. Take it easy. Anything else? What's the matter? Anything else? Okay. All right. So we're going to start very good. And if you notice, you, you are asking me about expressions not about vocabulary so much it's more about expression so let's start with the first one what's the matter what's the matter is asking what's the problem what is wrong okay what's the matter is what's the problem or what is wrong okay sick as a dog is when you're like really really sick okay it's you know you you know even in spanish we use this like we ustedes han oído cuando dicen por ejemplo tengo una tos de chucho right you know people say that right ¿Por qué una tos de chucho? ¿Por qué no una tos de, no sé, de gato? I don't know. Right? Uh, but, you know, we use the word, you know, we, we use the dog to mention that, you know, to make the idea that you're really sick. Okay? Feeling under the weather means that you're not feeling good. Like, you have some problem, like, like health-wise, you're not you're not good you're you're not feeling good right uh teacher that expression is only when you are sick or when you feel down no this is this is literally talking about not this, this is not about your feelings this is about your health okay only about your health Okay, so if there's a physical problem with you, not emotional or mental, it's a physical problem. Okay, so I'm okay. feeling under the weather means I'm not feeling good. And I'm not feeling good because there's something wrong with my body. Okay. All right, then we have, there's something going around. That means this usually is talking about a virus. There's something going around is talking about a virus. And boy, is there something going around right now, <laughs> right? There is a big virus going around, right? And so um, this, this expression means there's a virus in the air and people are getting sick from it. You know, like, it's like when you say in Spanish, anda dando algo. Right? You guys, you guys have used that, right? Ah, cuídate porque anda dando algo. Right? That's kind of the idea. There's, anda dando algo means like, hay un virus en el aire que anda allí. Cuídate porque si no lo puedes agarrar. Okay? Y esta expresión es como que más que nunca. Creo que esta está bastante de moda. Okay? All right, then we have tip top shape. Tip top shape means in the best condition, like perfect. Okay. Got it, guys? And it's also used related just for health. Um, yeah, usually. Yeah, ah, okay. tip top shape. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, what is uh, tip top shape? Tip top shape means in the in a very good condition, like the best condition. 
And it, well, it, it could, it's not just related to health. Um, you could also use it, um, like if you want to sell something, and if you're saying that the condition of the of the product is good, you could also say tip top shape. Okay, but in this context, it's definitely talking just about health, like. Okay. So we're, it's basically talking about the condition of something. Okay. okay. Take it easy means, like, don't worry, relax. You know, agarrar al suave. Ajá, exactly. Yeah, en buen saber. Mm -hmm. Okay. Questions? So it's all clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right, so. Let's answer these questions together. Let's see if you guys can answer this. So the first question is, why can't Yanni go to work? Jenny can't go to work because she's sick. Yeah, she's sick. And what's her problem? She is not feeling well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what is what is the main symptom that she has? Her stomach. Her stomach. Her stomach. Right. Very good. Next question. She's as sick as a dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I can't. Oh, sorry. How does Mr. Dries respond to the situation? Very well. <laughs> Yeah. How do you know he responds well? Um, because uh, he understands. He, he understands. Yeah, he understands that, that she's sick. Right. So he's very understanding. Right. Why is he understanding? Because he suffered uh, two days ago. He yeah. was sick. Exactly. So right. So he himself has gone through that process and he knows, you know, that, that, you know, she just needs to rest and she'll be okay later. Okay, good. All right, guys. Well, guess what? It's time for you guys to practice this conversation with a partner. Okay. okay. Uh, so it's just practicing, only practicing. So I won't give you very much time. I think about four minutes should probably do it. Um, okay, uh, Warner, you are on two devices, right? Or just one? Yes, right, two. 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 Okay. Um, anybody else having a problem? Okay. Um, moment okay just give me one second guys while i divide this making sure everybody has a partner um, is is Daniel still here? Is that Daniel? No, Daniel, I'm not here. Okay, all right. Okay, so that's okay. So um, about four minutes. Like I said, I, I think should be enough time for you guys to work, okay? So go ahead, join your groups.
I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in tip top shape thanks to AC. Jenny, I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. Uh, and now it's my turn. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Reese. Uh, hello, Mr. Reese. This is Johnny. I have a situation. Hi, Johnny. Tell me, what's the matter? I am not feeling day or day to day. My stomach is killing me. I am a sick as a low. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Already, already. Uh, there is some time going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. oh teacher. Oh. <laughs> it's, sorry, teacher. Entonces, entonces si esto era entonces porque no salían un par de malitas. Yes. I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> He had a par de problems con la con la tarea con el homework 12. Just tell me in class so I can help you. Okay. Ajá, por eso te hablaba en en clase si si alguien tenía alguna pregunta de de la plataforma. Qué pena, teacher. No tenga pena, si para eso para para eso es la clase. Así que okay. no worries. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Did you solve the problem? Eh, sí, fíjese que eh, intent, bueno, no sé. Bueno, en parte de esa tarea no. Este, bueno, la intenté hacer, pero no me no sé si yo me estoy equivocando o yo no lo he hecho como debe de ser le puede enseñar okay sure. y Mario has changed eh, Uh, you're putting the word the two times. You're putting the word the two times. Excuse me? The word the is two times. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. To Eric. Two day. Okay. Ah, ok. Pero eh, en esa, en la, en la cinco teacher, yo tengo de secretary has made eh, no copies. Ajá. No copies de qué? Copies. Tiene que ser completo. Hey. Me. Eh, en el note, por el, ah, no, no, pero ya lleva, llevaba me. Okay. Ah, ok, entonces sí, errores ortográficos prácticamente. Porque igual en el, bueno, no sé. Uh, en number no sé. Four, the verb is unplug, not plug. On. Uh -huh. Unplugged. Uh -huh. Así como, como el disco. ¿sí? Oh. Y aquí era fixed, ¿verdad? ¿O no? Okay. En este caso, team es uno de esos collective nouns. Que aunque, uh -huh. 
aunque, aunque son muchas personas, pero se considera una sola unidad. Por lo tanto, tiene que ir sin third person singular. Teams. No, no. O sea, el verbo tiene que ir de acuerdo al third person singular. Tal como que estuviéramos diciendo it. ¿Se puede decir it have fixed? Yes. Ok. Team. Team es equipo, right? Uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah. El team, se, aunque está compuesto de varias personas, se considera como una sola unidad. ¿verdad? Es un, un solo grupo. Entonces, ese grupo es third person singular. Ah, ok. ¿Cómo que so con... terror, terror. So, ¿cómo no, poner? No, 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 continúe con team. Ahora, es como que reemplace la palabra our team. Okay. It. Ajá. Hágalo, hágalo físicamente. Elimine eso y ponga it. Ok, ahora tiene sentido it have six. Six. ¿Tiene sentido? It have fixed. It have fixed. The equipment. No, no, no. Listen, it have. ¿Se puede decir it have? Eh, I don't know what is it. It es tercera persona. Es como ah, it ha. Uh, Ajá. ¿Se dice it have or it has? It have, ah, uh, ok. So, no, 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 espera, 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 no. Escuche lo que le estoy preguntando. ¿Se puede decir it has? ¿O se dice uh -huh. it has? It has. Ajá. It has. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. entonces, ok, entonces, the same thing. So we have to now, but yo le estoy diciendo ponga it para que usted pueda ver que se tiene que reemplazar. Es como que usted dijera it, en vez de decir our team, es como que dijera it, porque es una sola unidad. Ahora, uh -huh. la palabra our team. Our team. Our team. Ultima fix. ¿Entiende por qué? Sí. ¿Por o sea, qué? al final, como se puede no contar, con, pero, se puede como compresionar al final, o sea, no. O contraer, compresionar, no, no me resuelve bien, o sea, se puede como abreviar al final. Vale. Our team se trata, se hace. Se, se utiliza como que si fuera la tercera persona singular. Ajá. Entonces, con tercera persona singular, no se dice it, um, have, se dice has. Ajá, ah, ok. Ok. O sea, que si yo pusiera, eh, bueno, aquí sería ultim ha o team have fixed. No, have no, has. Has, o team has. Ah, ok. Es como en español, usted dice, nuestro equipo uh, ha ganado. No, nuestro equipo han ganado. ¿Verdad? Porque no es plural. ¿Verdad? Nuestro equipo ha ganado como que estuviéramos usando el él o ella. Pero no se dice nuestro equipo han ganado. Han ganado. Yeah. Pero como que si fueran varios. En ese de producción sí sería the pollution has not had, has not stopped. Yes. The production, not product. the pro production. The production. No, past participle. 
Past, no, past participle of stop. What is the past participle of stop? Stop it. Excuse stop. me. Stopped. Stop it. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry, teacher. No, no. Okay. No. Uh, but it's a story. Okay. No worries. You don't have to apologize. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. In the, room, in the main room. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, excellent. Um, all right, so you guys have had an opportunity of practicing. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do, now that you, we've talked about the vocabulary, which are these ones, as sick as a dog, under the weather too, there's something going on, there's something going around, my stomach is killing me, take it easy, can't afford to, call in sick, tip top shape. This is the vocabulary that we saw in the conversation. What I want you to do is match the meaning with the idioms in part number four. So here are the idioms. I'm oh, sorry, here are the idioms, here are the meanings. My stomach hurts badly, to be very sick, to relax or to rest, not feeling well, in great condition, don't have time to, many people have the same thing, and to phone the office, say you're sick. So I want you to match, match the meaning. Here, I have a question. We already made that in the group, <laughs> but I have, we have a, a, a question suddenly came up in the three of us. If this expression, for example, my stomach is killing me, can be used with, for example, another part of the body? Right, that's why it's in parentheses because it doesn't have to be your stomach. It could be my head, my head. Mm -hmm. My head um, is killing me. My, um, you know. My leg? My, my leg, my leg is killing me. My foot okay. is killing me. Ah, okay. My uh, shoulder. Shoulder? What? My shoulder? My shoulder is killing me. Yeah, so any part of the body. Any part of the body, okay. That's, yeah. Yes. And the other question we have, uh, I heard this expression, can afford it, but I heard, I don't know if it's in a grown way, when people cannot pay, or maybe I, I'm not hearing very well, when they say it, when they cannot pay for something, cannot afford it, mm -hmm. can be used in that way too? Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, uh, can't afford it, uh, afford to means, um, it means I don't have, I, um, uh -huh. I don't have that value. To be okay. able to spend it. So um, it's like when you say in Spanish, no me puedo dar el lujo. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. 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 No me puedo dar el lujo. And you say, no me puedo dar el lujo, in, it could be physically, like you don't have the money for it, right? No me puedo dar ese lujo. ¿verdad? Porque no tengo el dinero para eso. No me puedo dar ese lujo. But I could also use it to talk about no me puedo dar el lujo de, de perder tiempo. Mm -hmm. It's very valuable to me. I, I, don't, I cannot spend that time, mm -hmm. right? Okay, okay, so that's, that's kind of what it means. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. 
And the other question, I'm asking because my, my other classmates, I don't know why they don't ask. Uh, we've been discussing, uh, we had a storm break here, uh, when somebody call in sick, so the expression is, I have to call in sick, or so what is the best way to express that I need yeah. to do that action? Yeah, I need to call in sick. Ah, okay. Please call in. Please um, call in when you're sick. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. He called in sick. Mm -hmm. I will call in sick. <laughs> okay. Then, chicos, you ready? Sure. Call, 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 so. call in sick is como decir, eh, voy a llamar porque estoy enfermo o algo así. Yes. It's, it's more like to report, report to the, to your workplace that you are sick and that you cannot come to work. That's literally what it means. To report okay. to the office that you're sick. Uh, it's very short. Uh, it's, it's short yeah. for it's me. Short. <laughs> you're right. And the thing is that in, in English, we like to, to do short things. We like to go, boom, directly to the, to the point. Okay? Okay. Si ustedes notan, aún las palabras en inglés son más cortas. O sea, there are only one syllable or two syllables at most, the majority of the words in English. Look, look at this expression. As is one syllable. Sick, one syllable. As, one syllable. A, one syllable. Dog, one syllable. Sí, aquí está, pero son todas las oraciones, to, pero en todas las palabras en esta oración, en esta expresión, es una, one syllable. Because in English we go boom, 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 directly to the point. Mm, okay. We don't like, we don't like long things. All right, lots. You don't, you will find most of the vocab, most of the words in English will have between one and two syllables. Very few with three and extremely rare with four or more. Okay. It's not, it's the majority of the words are not four. Mientras que en español sí, la mayoría de las palabras en español son como por lo menos tres o cuatro sílabas. Mm -hmm. La mayoría. You check go on a stom stomach. Uh, at the end, it's like an A like as an a. apple or E? Stomach. Stomach. Ah, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Stomach. Okay, guys, we're going to check the answers. Uh, so let's see if you guys can help me write the answers. Uh, Wendy, could you give me number one? My stomach hurts badly. My leg hurts for, badly. For, uh, from these expressions, you have to match. What is the expression that is the same? Wendy, mm. the o sea, solo solo es de de poner junto. So. Which expression from here? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, my stomach hurts badly. Mm -hmm. What what is what is the expression that is the same? Uh, mm, my stomach is killing me. Very good. My stomach. My stomach. Uh, 
is killing me. Thank you very much, Wendy. Um, okay, very good. Um, Marvin, help me with number two, to be very sick. Teacher, you, I use my stomach is killing me too. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Let me see. Um, corner. Can you help me with number two? Number two, teacher, for me, as sick as a dog. Okay, very good. As sick as a dog. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Uh, let's have Luis. Number three, to relax or to rest. Take it easy. Right, take it easy. Very good. Number four, this. Not feeling well? Andres? Under the weather, too. Good. Under the weather, too. Good. Okay. Excellent. Um, Josue, help me with number five. Great condition. Josue? You hear me, Josue? Okay, maybe he's having problems. Okay, uh, Fabiola, can you help me with number five, Fabiola? Um, tip, top shape, shape. Okay, very good. Tip. Top shape. Excellent. All right. Juan Francisco, help me with number six, please. Um, Don't have time to? Can't afford to? Yes. Can't afford to. Okay, very good. Um, Edgar, help me with number seven, please. People have the same thing. Edgar? Sorry, teacher. Hi. Yeah. Um, Tip top shape. Um, no. we have tip top shape here. No idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, no idea. Okay, let's go with someone else then. Um, Francisco, can you help me out with number seven? There is something going around. Okay. There's something okay. going around. Good. Okay, and Let's have the last one. Uh, we'll have Carla. Can you have a break, Carla? Um, the officer's name. Or a sink. Uh, or a sink. To phone the office to say you are sick. Call in sick. Very good. Call in sick. There you go. All right. Those are the answers, guys. Okay.
Any questions about the vocabulary? Question. No? No. But many can afford to. Sorry? But many afford. Can't afford to. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was I was telling um Ana Claudia, can't afford to is like saying no me puedo dar el lujo. In this case, no me puedo dar el lujo perder tiempo. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, let me just quickly take our attendance to make sure that everybody's here. Um, can I say your name? Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Andres? Present teacher. Edgar? Present teacher. Elsie? Janet? Present teacher. Fabiola? Present teacher. Francisco? Katie? Present teacher. Irene? Present teacher. Sue? Present teacher. Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Carla? Present teacher. Melissa? Present teacher. Ernesto? Present teacher. Manuel Alejandro? Present teacher. Manuel de Jesus. Present. Marvin. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Warner. Present teacher. Noemi. Noemi. Yvonne. Present teacher. Daniel. Daniel, Jorge, Marlene, Ricardo. Okay. All right, guys. So, so that will be all for today. Um, acuérdense de terminar allí la tarea um, de, el día 13. Y voy a reportar la del 14, el día 14 para que tal vez ya para mañana esté todo, todo listo y así puedan ustedes hacer la tarea que corresponde para el día de mañana, mañana, ¿verdad? Ok, and I will only stay with uh, Luis. Luis, um, can, you, um, can you stay for the tutoring class? ¿Se va a quedar? Yes, yes, you should. Perfect. All right, so that's it, everybody. Take care, see you tomorrow. I see you. Thank you. Bye, Bye. Bye teacher. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Teacher, I'm sorry. And on the house time, uh, uh, I had an emer emer emergency and how to get out. Okay, no worries. It's okay. Um, I'm just happy that you were able to. Okay, see you tomorrow, teacher. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you, see you Luis. Okay. See you. Okay. All right, Luis, how are you doing? Uh, here, I feel sleepy. <laughs> I know, it's late. Yeah, a little. It, yeah, I know. It's, it's tough, you know, but in the end, it will pay off. I promise you that in the end, all of the sacrifices you've made, you will, you will see how it's worth it, right? Yeah, yes, I know, I know. Yeah. So just, just know, think about you, that, yeah. <laughs> so what can I help you with, Luis? Um, I, I was thinking I, I need to mejorar. How do you say mejorar? Um, improve. Improve my fluency. Okay. And my my listening. Uh, and okay. I want to to know if you can tell me about exercise or something like that. Yeah. 
uh yeah of course um well in terms of fluency the only thing you can do for fluency is practice right mm -hmm. so you're gonna have to find ways of practicing do you have family members do you have friends that speak english do you have co-workers that speak english Yes, yes, I have a, a co-worker and my daughter that is studying English too. You have a co-worker that is studying English? Yes. Okay, great. So something you have to try to do is switch. I know that sometimes it's, it's just so easy and comfortable to speak in Spanish, but if you mm -hmm. have the opportunity of speaking with someone, that knows the language that can that you can take advantage of you know practicing with that person do it especially if you have the opportunity of seeing that person every day right so do you do you have that opportunity of seeing that person every day and sometimes at the work yeah we can we can Maybe we can talk a little bit in English with my coworkers. Right. Okay. Good. 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 So it will be so beneficial for you and for the other person, right? To to practice English. So I think they will be happy. They will be very happy that they have somebody to practice with. Mm -hmm. So um, so try that. Like find ways of practicing language, because in okay. the end you want to learn english not to use in class but you to use in your everyday life yes correctly and your class your your co-worker is your everyday life so start using it in your everyday life okay okay i'm gonna anybody, try any anybody in your family speak english no just just my daughter but uh, but her, she is studying at, um, at school. Okay. Yes, at school, but, but okay. sometimes we 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 try to use the the word that she knows or the structure that she knows, something like that. How old is your daughter? Uh, Thirteen. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, you know, she's old enough for you to go ahead and have a conversation with her. Try. Try to, you know, your daughter, hey, you have her every day at home. So that would be so wonderful for you to be able to have. And, you know, that will even be even better because that will bond you, you know, to have that, 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 yeah. like that special connection <laughs> between the yes. two of you that no one else has in the, in the yeah. family, you know, that will be even better. You know, yes. so that, that's wonderful if you could do that with your with your daughter that, you know, it would help her so much. It will help you and it will help your relationship to grow. Yes, yes I think so. Right? So, yeah, yes. try that. And in terms of the listening, what I can do is I can share with you um, a few. Well, I can share a link with you of. Um, there are different listening exercises that you can go into. Um, you can listen to them. You can read them as well. If you want, you can read the, the, their conversations. And I'm telling you, they're very useful because they speak like a native speaker. They, they, do, not, they do not go slow. They are very, very fast. OK? Yeah. So it will get your, your ear accustomed to listening. Okay? okay, it's going to be challenging, but it will be good for you. So I can I can provide you that with the, those um, those link uh, that link. Um, if you want, you can send me a message a private message and I will send you the, the link if you like. Okay, okay? perfect. Yeah, sometimes I try to uh, watch some some uh, video at YouTube or some um all music that has the lyrics something like that mm -hmm. and I, I am reading and listening mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. trying to to improve my, my right. listening. Good, good, okay. exactly. Something that I also recommend my students is try to see if you can um, watch movies in English. Yes, I, 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 yes, sometimes try to, to watch a uh, series or, or, or some movie. Mm -hmm. And something yes. you, you can do is, for example, to make it a little easier for you, watch a movie that you have already seen before. In, okay. in Spanish, so yes. that you're not concentrating on the plot of the movie, but more the vocabulary. Because since you have already seen it, you know what's happening and you know what's going to yes. happen, right? So it's easier for you to put things into context, right? Um, so watch a movie that you've seen before, or if it's not a movie you've seen before, um, I recommend you watch uh, like a movie that is for like children because the vocabulary mm -hmm. is a little bit, you know, it's simpler. So you don't have to worry about very complicated academic vocabulary. Yeah, it's different. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, so, sometimes some students tell me, teacher, I see, for example, um, CNN. And I said, uh, you know, I don't know about CNN. I mean, that's very good, very high academic, but I would recommend that maybe later, later in the, you know, when you are in, you know, higher intermediate or advanced. But right now, when you are a beginner, probably not the best idea because then you're going to get so frustrated that you won't. Yes, you there won't is a lot of technical words. So, it's, it should be challenging, okay, but not impossible, mm -hmm. okay? So always, that should be your, your aim. Say, okay, I want to have it challenging, okay? You understand challenging? Yes, yes. Okay. So it should Correct. be challenging, yeah, but not impossible. Because if it's impossible, you're gonna get frustrated. Just yeah. raise, the, raise the bar over here so that you are able to you know, go, okay, I'm going to reach it. Right. And okay. then, and then feel like, wow, I, I did it. And then make the, the, the bar go higher. Right. Mm -hmm. But um, a little target. Yeah. But little by little. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, okay. and then what I like, I, I also suggest if you're going to watch a movie in English, try like once you have accustomed your ear and everything, start like i said raise the bar little by little so that means that you're going to have to take away like the 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 subtitles okay. okay so stop stop so just stick at the end like try to just listen on listening okay okay perfect uh, okay anything okay. else you i can mm -hmm. help you with no teacher anything just that just that okay okay sounds good okay all right, well, anything at all, just write. Oh, don't forget to, to send me the message so I can send you the, the link, okay. okay? Your number is on chat? It's in the oh, chat, yeah. Oh, I, I, I sent, I, I, I sent um, oh, to, some, to some my, documents to at the my... beginning of the class. Ah, so okay. You should see, you should yes, see I, I, there. I watch it. Okay. Okay, yeah. perfect. All right, so that's it, uh, Luis. Take care and see you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Have a nice uh, rest of the night. <laughs> thank you. You too. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.